What's up guys, it's your Motivational Gamer, and welcome to another video. <laughs> I know I'm late. I know I'm late. I know. I know. Um, but today we're going to be doing an exclusive summer review. Before we get into that, man, I got some good news for y'all, man. Um, so I finally started eating healthier and shit, you know. So, you know, we bring the sexy back. <laughs> My daughter, uh, she cussed me out, man, because, you know, I was like... I was like, you ready for dad to start eating and training like you used to? She's like, no. And I, I got cursed out. She's like, don't lose the belly. Belly, belly, belly. <laughs> right? Because <laughs> she likes to toot on my belly, right? You know? And now it's like starting to go away. And she, you know, she yelled at me. And you know how that probably, you know, ended up. So I was just like, look, babe, I, I don't know what you want me to say, but the belly is going. And that's that. And then I just ran. <laughs> I didn't even turn around and look. I didn't know. I knew what was going to happen if I turned around, so I was running. Ah, scared. <laughs> but anyway, um, today we're going to talk about these guys. Um, the summer rotation this week is interesting. Okay? Um, a little bit all over the place. I'm not really going to get into the three stars too much here. Um, most of the stuff in here is fusion material. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been seeing like the uh, the water peaking on priests and like high level arena ads just for like an uh, uh, annoyance. But quite frankly, guys, I mean she's not worth the build unless your runes are absolutely retarded. And most of the time, uh, most people can easily counter that with just two damage dealers anyway. So um, yeah, so we're not gonna really gonna get into that. But like I said, most of it is fusion material. Now um, there are some interesting four stars in here. Um, they did recently buff the Wind Anubis here a little while ago. I mean, he's still okay, um, but the fire, his brother, the fire one, is still pretty much God right now. So uh, that's the one that you probably want to focus on. Um, now, in terms of the Wind Taoist, now I'm, I'm sure you guys have heard like a lot of mixed things about this guy. He's really, really good. It's so funny too. Uh, makes me laugh. Shouts out to uh, uh, to Jenks, man, because. Back in the day, uh, <laughs> he was like, yo, he was like, I'm always going to make this. He's like, one day I'm going to make this towers work, right? And, I was, and we were like, nah, man, that tower is the shit because Wucci used to be terrible <laughs> before they buffed the towers, right? And and like, because the towers were terrible and he was like, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. But now he gets the last laugh because um, this towers is actually really, really good. Uh, you can use them for giants because of the attack rate glancing on one. Uh, so if you guys are looking for like a, a giants uh, unit, uh, you can absolutely use him there. Uh, but he's also really, really good for TOA with the double attack bar reduction. So he has a 30% uh, attack bar reduction here for all enemies. And then he also has an attack bar to zero here. Um, and a nice little resistance lead too. So he's really, really good for TOA. Can be used for giants. So if you guys are looking for that unit, or if you happen to pull that unit, and you guys are struggling with TOA, uh, Wuchi could be your savior. So definitely look at that. Now, in terms of the fire succubus, I have like 15 of these damn things, man. Like, I don't know why, and like, I just keep pulling them, but you know, she's fusion material. So if you get her, I mean, it's nice because it'll speed up your fusion process on a few things. Um... But outside of that, I mean, she does have an interesting kill kit. Kill kit? Skill kit. Attacks all enemies with Swirling Fire Hurricane and disturbs the enemy's HP recovery for two turns. Um, and her second skill, the damage actually gets higher um, as the enemy's HP gets lower. So she could she could put up some numbers because um, she transfers all two harmful effects anyway. And she heals herself with 30% of the damage. But, I mean, all she really brings to the table is a sleep and recub block. So... Recup block is useful where? What? Necro? But she's not really going to use her there because she's, she's not a multi-hitter. Um, maybe you can use her for raid, but probably not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I, I feel like she's just one of those units that if you have her and you're not going to use her for fusion, you probably should just put her in storage. Especially since we're just kind of kicking it here and waiting for, you know, like uh, patches to drop and more content. And I feel like she's just one of those units that when a balance patch drops and you rebalance Succubus because nobody uses them really. Um... She, you know, she might be one to get a buff, so just keep that in mind. Um, my man Tyron is an MVP. He's probably the most overlooked MVP in the game. Um, I know a lot of people still use him from back in the day. Uh, he used to be, like, the golden ticket for, like, Guardian Arena um, back back in the day. <laughs> but he's still really, really solid. I mean, he increased the enemy's attack or your attack speed by 19%. 
Um, he has AoE Freeze, which is nice, and he has AoE Glancing. So, I mean, with the double AoE, especially if running him on a super fast Despair set, um, he could be pretty nice. So, if you're using him there, I mean, potential uses. Could you use him on your AO? Absolutely. Uh, could you use him in TOA? Of course. Um, and that's that. I don't really need to get into explaining Orion. You guys know how annoying Orion is. Definitely a prize pool. Um, you know, good good to go but like i said this this arena rotation is just all freaking over the place <laughs> it's all over the place i mean we got arena units we got farmable units we got freaking toa randoms it's just all over the place and then of course you know you have tashar for the nat 5 the ultimate uh giant speed 10 farmer right here so if you guys pull him you guys are pretty much good to go in giants rakan can pretty much be used anything for anything these days because you know Rakan finally got the buff and people are finally appreciating him and then of course Wusai after the buff is pretty OP as well um, so You kind of got like a little smorgasbord a little casserole uh, of units here if if I were if I was you Okay um, Personally this this summer rotation doesn't excite me too much because there's not really a specific goal in mind when doing this uh, This summer stone rotation, you know, what I'm saying like this is this rotation to me is like a oh I I don't know. I, I think, okay, all right. I'm already doing Giants in like a minute 30. Um, but maybe I can do under a minute. Maybe maybe I'll pull some. Or, you know, I don't know. Let's just see what I'll do. You know, there's not there's not really a, a specific goal in mind like when I look at this. Um, a lot of these units, could they be game changing? Yeah, but are they? No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because chances are, if you're summoning on this rotation, you pretty much have everything that you need already, and you're just doing this for shits and giggles. Um, so all in all, yeah, I, I don't know. I'd give this one like a 4 or 5 out of 10. Um, like I said, like of course, some of these units are, are amazing. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but where they fall into your progression... Like I said, this is one of just one of those rotations where if you like, if you pull something cool, if not, whatever, right? So, so that's that's kind of where I'm at with this one. And again, that's just my personal opinion. But uh, with that being said, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the box below, and I'd be happy to assist. And as always, it's your boy TMG, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.